$15.90. There's no fat. There's head, face, and belly molt. Anyways, 3.29. So what I'm doing is recording the information that Cindy is collecting from the birds uh, and writing it on this chart, and I'm called the scribe. The band prefix, which is four numbers that are not on the band, but it's represented by a letter. There's nine actual numbers um, represented on the band. And we have a, a number, a letter, and five numbers that we go by. The female and the male bird have a different band because they have a different size leg. So we have a different series of numbers for each of them. And then the date, the time, the alpha is the, the breed hummingbird. It's, this is a ruby-throated hummingbird. You record its age is either after hatch year or hatch year. They're the only two ages you can give a hummingbird. The sex, then the length of the wing, the tail, the culmin is its beak. Uh, grooving, um, a new hummingbird, a hatcher hummingbird, its beak is going to be wrinkled. And as it grows, it fills out, so then it's um, not going to have any grooving. And that's another way to determine the age of the bird. Um, GF is gorget feathers. Only the male is going to have uh, red gorget feathers. Um, if it's an adult, it'll have a full gorget. Some of the hatcher will start to have one or two feathers. And then you measure the, the fat. Cindy will blow on the, the stomach to see the fat of the bird. And then we weigh the bird and see. And if the weight is in grams. The information that we are collecting today, we will keep in our file, but it will also be sent to the Bird Banding Lab in Laurel, Maryland, which is the repository for all banding information in North America. That way, all bird banders can set, share that information, plus others that are, are interested in the information, and it's not just kept in our files. What you should do if you come across a, a deceased bird, a hummingbird, or any bird that's been banded, you can Google it, <clears throat> and a form will come up that will ask you several questions, and the main thing is to get the number off the band of the bird you found. They can take that number and look up all the information that they have about that bird and they will actually generate a certificate for you that will show you all the information they have that you can print out for yourself. And it will have the band number, the, um, the species of the bird, where it was banded, who the original bander was, and um, any other information that they might have about the bird that, is, that, that they have in their database. Um, the lab will contact the original bander with all that information so they can use the, the information from the band that you found.